guys, this is Raf and welcome back. If you're looking for a budget-friendly smartphone that offers decent performance and features, you might want to check out the Samsung Galaxy A04. This device was launched last year in October and is one of the cheapest models in the Samsung Galaxy A series. In this review, we will take a look at the design, display, camera, battery, and other aspect of the Samsung Galaxy A04 and see how it compares to other similar devices in the market. The Samsung Galaxy A04 has a plastic body with a glossy finish that comes in four colors, black, green, white, and copper. The device measures around 164.4 by 76.3 by 9.1 millimeter and weighs around 192 grams, making it slightly bulky and heavy for its size. Its design is just okay, pretty much an average looking smartphone, and its build quality is just fine and nothing special. At the bottom part, it has a 3.5mm headphone jack, a USB Type-C port, a microphone hole, and a speaker grill. While on the right side, you will have the volume up and down button and the power button itself. Although you will notice that it doesn't have any fingerprint scanner on its power button. On the top part, you will see only the secondary microphone hole. Then lastly, on the left side, it accommodates the dedicated micro SD and SIM card slot. The device features a 6.5 inch TFT LCD display with a resolution of 720 by 1600 pixels and an aspect of 20 by 9 ratio. The screen has a water drop notch at the top that houses the selfie camera. The display quality is just average with decent brightness and contrast, but not very sharp or vibrant. The viewing angles are also limited, and the screen is prone to smudges and fingerprints. The Samsung Galaxy A04 is powered by a MediaTek Helio P35, a 12 nanometer octa core processor, and a PowerVR GE8320 as its GPU. The devices also have a 4GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. The device runs on one UI core as well. The device offers a decent performance for basic tasks like browsing messaging, social media, and casual gaming, but struggles in heavy multitasking tasks or high-end games. The phone works well in a low task and performance is good in a normal use, but the device also heats up quickly when under stress. Its performance isn't that spectacular as you might compare to its high-end siblings, but it's decent for its price and class. Here are some of its benchmarks. Here are some of its gaming performance.
For its back camera, it got 50 megapixel rear plus 2 megapixel depth dual camera with LED flash setup. The 50 megapixel rear camera takes good photos and the quality and the color of the photos are also just fine. It does not have any OIS, so it does not provide good photo stabilization. Well, its 2 megapixel depth camera lets you adjust the depth of color in your photos. On the front side, you will have a 5 megapixel with an aperture of 2.2 selfie camera. The video recording for both front and back are capped at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Its videos are just fine, but don't expect too much since there's no OIS. You will get some features in front and rear camera such as LED flash, panorama, HDR, autofocus, bokeh effect, digital 10 times zoom, and many more. Here are some sample photos. So the phone packs a 5000 milliamps battery. With some light like gaming, social media scrolling, and multimedia usage, the battery lasted easily for a day or two. So this is probably one of the best highlights of this phone as well. Additionally, the phone offers a power saving mode that can further increase the battery life by removing various features or functionalities. It does have also a 15 watt wired Type-C fast charger support which fully charges the phone around 2 hours. Most of its extra features that it does have are mostly extinct or not present on most flagship phones. Like it does have a micro SD slot for storage expansion, it does have a headphone jack as well so you can still use your wired headphones for listening music. It does have a face unlock as well, however, it doesn't have any fingerprint scanner nor waterproofing on this phone. The Samsung Galaxy A04 is an entry-level smartphone that offers basic functionality and features at an affordable price. However, it also compromises on many aspects like display quality, camera performance, storage capacity, and overall speed. If you're looking for a simple phone that can handle your daily needs without breaking the bank, you might consider this Samsung Galaxy A04. You can get this around 7 to 8,000 pesos or around 130 US dollars or less. However, if you want a better experience and if you have more budget for a phone, you might want to look to its higher siblings starting from Galaxy A13 and above. You may also check my review for Samsung Galaxy A13 as well. You also consider the Redmi Note 12 series or the Poco phones or the Vivo phones as well. So that is my review of the Samsung Galaxy A04. So thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe and see you soon. Peace out.